Hello guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to use file test operators in shell scripting. Now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to, uh, you know, consolidate our knowledge which we have uh, gained in the last two videos, that is if conditions and uh, the file uh, test operators, and we will create some useful example from that. So what uh, in this video I'm going to show you is how we can uh, you know write a script to append some text to a file which already exists okay so let's get started what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, edit the code I have written in the last video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, remove uh, this code or let this code be there so first of all what I want to, the user to do is I want the user to uh, ask him to give uh, the file name as we have seen in the last video so I will just echo enter the name of the file and then whatever name he uh, enters I will save it into this uh, variable and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check whether this file exists or not and it's a valid file or not so I will use the F flag for this and if this file exists then once again I will check whether I have the right permission to uh, write some text into this file or not and then if I have the permission I will write into the file otherwise I will uh, just uh, show a message that uh, this file doesn't have the right permission okay so uh, in this if condition if uh, this file uh, exists what I will show is I will say file uh, not exist and I'm going to remove uh, this echo uh, statement from here and in here I'm going to add one more uh, if condition or if statement so let's use uh, the if statement so once again the if statement like this and then we will uh, write the expression inside these uh, square brackets and here we will write uh, then and then we want to uh, evaluate the condition and if the condition is true we will allow the user to append to this file using cat and if the you know write permissions are not okay then we will write some echo uh, message in the else condition right and then we will end this for if statement by fi okay so here we want to check whether the file has right condition so i will just give a space and then uh, minus w and then uh, uh, the file name variable which is uh, this one and this condition will check whether the file have the right permission or not so this uh, variable name here and if you have, haven't no noticed in if condition inside this expression uh, you know square brackets I always provide a space uh, after this square bracket and uh, I always provide the space uh, before the ending uh, square brackets so if you don't do it maybe you will get some problems right so always provide this space and this space for your expression right so we have written this condition which checks uh, if the file have the right permission or not and if this file have the right permission then what we want to do is we want to echo first of all echo and what we will echo is uh, for example type some text so type some text data for example and uh, because we are going to use uh, the cat command for this so we will say to quit we need to press control C d yeah so ctrl for control plus d so control d if you don't know is the command which we uh, use to come out of uh, the cat command okay so this message we are going to show and then in the next line we will just say cat and then whatever file name we have we will uh, you know append this data so for appending we use double redirection uh, you know angle brackets if you use a single redirection uh, angle bracket then 
your file will be overwritten and if you do double angle brackets then your file will be appended so whatever for text you will write uh, you know the text will be appended to the text the file already have okay and then comes your uh, file name which is uh, this name right so just copy it and paste it here so this is for appending the data otherwise we will just say echo so just write echo and then uh, the file do not have write permissions okay so you can uh, just echo this uh, message right so let's see uh, if uh, this example works or not so let's run the script and let's see if it works or not so script and then we will give the name of the file but file doesn't exist yet so let's say i give the name of the file test which does not exist so i will press enter and it says test does not exist right so we need to create the file so i'm going to just uh, touch but first of all i will show you what uh, i have in my uh, desktop directory so i don't have uh, this test file already so i will just use uh, touch command to uh, create this file test and then we will uh, see the permission of it so just to ls minus al to check the permission of uh, this uh, directory files and you can see when we create this test file this have uh, read and write permission for the user and read and write permission for the group right so for example we will uh, just remove the write permission from this file and we will check uh, whether this uh, example works properly or not right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just write chmod for changing the permission and then i will do minus w which will remove the permission from the file which is writable permission minus w stand for writable permission uh, and minus is for uh, removing this permission right and then the name of the file and then press enter and once again do ls minus al and you can see we don't have a writable permission no long right so earlier it has the right permission but right now it doesn't have the right permissions right once again we will run our uh, script so let's run the script and then once again give the test uh, file name and then press enter and it says the file do not have write permission because we have already removed the write permission so it will not work right so let's uh, give back the write permission it can be done by using chmod plus w so plus w is for providing the write permission minus w is for removing the write permission so plus w and then once again check the permission for once again and you can see it has the uh, write permission and let's me clear the terminal and we will run the script once again so let's run the script and then say test and now it says uh, type some text data to quit press ctrl d so now we are in the right you know condition here right so we can uh, write some uh, data here so for example let's write some data so let's uh, write some uh, data for example hello world and then to come out of this uh, cat command we will press ctrl d so i'm going to press ctrl d and i'm out of uh, this uh, cat command and now what i want to check is whether uh, in my text file i have uh, this uh, text or not so i will just cat this text file so just cat test and you can see we have uh, this uh, text there okay or otherwise we can go to the desktop folder we can see this test file and we have uh, this data there okay once again we will run the you know uh, script and we will see whether uh, we can append to this text some data or not so let's do it once again so i'm going to run the script once again and now i'm going to give the name of the uh, test file 
and let's see what we want to uh, write here so for example i will just write shell scripting tutorial okay and then i will press uh, control d for coming out of uh, this command so control d and let's see let's see if, if this file is uh, uh, you know uh, updated or not so you can see reload and after reload this text is appended to the earlier text right so we have learned in this video how we can uh, append data to a text file and we have seen nested if condition so how to use nested if condition we have also seen in this video so i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now